hey guys it's me ubed and today we will see how we can save the transcription of our agent right so this is the live kit agent powered by the open ai real time api and what we want to do is save all the transcription of this conversation right whatever we are asking whatever the agent is saying we want to save that conversation right and it can be based on a trigger right it can be automated it can be also on a trigger which in this case i have just created a button for it but you can do like any type of trigger with the na10 or make.com or the zapier it's up to you right okay so let's see how we can do all of this so and uh if you are working on any custom project you can reach out to email or the whatsapp and we can build things together okay uh let's see how we can do this so what i will do i will just start the conversation and then i will talk to it and i will save it and then I will show how you can do it, right? Okay. Hey, who's there? Hey, how can I help you today? Yeah, so just to tell like uh, this microphone is connected to two sources right now. So there might be some some trouble, but but we are good. We can talk to it. Who is there? I am the receptionist of Musho Hotel. How can I assist you with your reservation today? Where is your hotel? Musho Hotel is located along the beautiful coastline, providing stunning sea views and easy access to local attractions. How may I help you with your reservation today? Is any restaurant available in your hotel? Yes, Musho Hotel has a restaurant offering a variety of delicious dishes to suit all tastes. Would you like to make a reservation or inquire about something else? Okay, so I have just downloaded the transcription and let me just show you where it is. So it must be in my download folder. Yeah. So if I just start to reading the conversation i get the timestamp which i have done like very custom right you can just do any format you want but it is definitely easy to recognize when the transcript was saved uh maybe it will go directly into your crm like the hubspot or asana or whatever you are using and from there you can see like you know the timestamps and you can use there efficiently right so here how the conversation has started so hey how can i help you who is there i am receptionist and then where is your hotel everything right and now obviously uh, you can say like it is just a new line for every uh, uh, the conversation how do we know who said this so just like add agent uh, and the user in start of the line right and i will show you how you can do it right so yeah the the point of you know uh doing all of this is to make everything customizable for you because you can't rely on the platforms right you have to do like stuff with with like every possibility you can think of right okay so now i will just go to my web folder which is running the front end and the uh, this messenger system uh, this voice messenger system so this is a next js application and if we go to our source and in the components i go to my 
chat and here I go to the transcript so yes here we have a function a callback function which is the handle save to file right where it is being called now i will show you where now on this button which is save transcription i am calling this uh function right so this function is here now the date time which is you are saying here as i said i am doing it like very custom uh so like this variable can be anything right a date time uh any other any other information or the metadata you want to save like the username or anything you can do it right then the file content is obviously the transcription and how we get the transcription is very simple is yes this is the transcription which is using the typescript uh, string uh, type and whatever uh, data is in the transcription it will update itself uh, on on every uh, every time I speak or the agent speak right because it's in the use effect right and the unique uh, unique transcription is uh what we are what we are getting so we are just combining that all up and we are saving it in a file and then that file is being uh exported as a blob right or a url based object right and then it will be downloaded based on our click right and which we get in our download folder so if I just go to my download folder I have this transcription with the timestamp right so now I can just use it or save it in my database and do all of the things I want right so yeah that's how you can uh, save all of the conversation data you have with your agents and okay I will meet you in the next video I hope you like it